Welcome, and this is a Aquamorph production tutorial. I'm Christian, and I'm going to be showing you how to easily, and with very little work, shorten all your frames for Legomation. Um, I'm going to be showing two different programs. I have Movie Maker and Vegas Movie Studio. You can do it on both of these. Um, if you have Live Movie Maker, it won't work on this, so you're going to need to use the old one if you have access to that one. So you got all your frames in here for the, your movie. You're going to want to go to Tools and then Options. Um, on your normal option, it's going to be looking like this. Your picture duration is 5 seconds. What you're going to want to do is you want to move it down to one well point one two five and what this does is it makes it to eight frames per second you're gonna click OK and this tutorial only works on pictures so now you're gonna go control all and just drag it into the timeline okay there we go as you can see it automatically started editing and shortened it down without doing any work it's running a little slow but so if you're wondering, I film in 16 frames per second. Um, the easiest way to go is the storyboard. I'll just show it that way. I guess it would work on the other way, but... You basically select everything, and... Um, add an effect. In fact, you want to add a speed up effect. Speed up double. You'd add it all to every single one by selecting them all. Hmm, for some reason it's not working, but let me see. Oops. Wait, you'd select them all and put them all in that. For some reason it won't let me add it all, but you can do it, it's just not working right now. And that'll get you up to 16 frames per second. That didn't work. So I'm not going to want to save the project. So then you just add whatever you want with the legomations. That's how you do it. But if you have Sony Vegas, it's basically the same thing. I'm using Sony Vegas Platinum Edition. I'll just call this uh, Lego Nation. So I'm going to go and import my media, and it's going to be the same thing. Maybe just for convenience sake, I won't import all of it so it won't take us long. I think it's, yeah, options and preference. So then I've, ah, here we go. It's editing. So you do this by selecting the frame weight you want. So. And since this is Sony Vegas, this is way more sophisticated. So you can just adjust it to whatever you want. And you're going to want to put that down to zero. So there's no gaps, you can play around with it. I select media. I 
and as you can see it's automatically shortened down but they're all shortened down very nicely and since I put no gap I got rid of the gap if you don't get rid of the gap we'll put a little space and then it's very unfortunate you do that and you can make your locomation and that's all for this locomation Goodbye.